in shades of lavender and purple with green accents, a lovely white lace blouse, lace socks, and silver jewelry. By the way, her jewelry was purchased from our souvenir booth. Um, her skirt just came in the mail yesterday from Germany, so she's real happy it came here on time for the style show. Michael is wearing a typical German child's outfit with gray later hosen, with red and green accents, and suspender tighter, is wearing a dark green toxin suit, a wool suit, with velvet lapels, and top stitching with coin button accents. His tie is red and green. Purchased last year in Germany. Thank you. Next we have, throwing into the park, Emma and Bob Betty. They must have just come from an evening's entertainment. Emma wears a lovely ankle-length dress with a black skirt, skirt and a velvet top, white blouse underneath, and a blue apron of taffeta. She carries an olive green troxton purse. Bob is wearing a black formal troxton suit with embroidered lapels, with a maroon velvet vest and velvet tie. Lovely, thank you. <laughs> Take a stroll. Next, we have a group of ladies who are joining us today, Kay and Herta and Elfrida. Kay is wearing a black damask skirt, long white sleeve blouse with Good. black velvet vest. And Elfrida is a green cotton dirndl in small print with a matching apron and a white blouse. Herta is ready for hiking. She's wearing an outfit which is mostly worn on hikes. She wears a charcoal wool knee-length pant and a white cotton blouse with an olive green hand-knitted jacket and wool socks. On her head, she wears a hat with an olive green leather band. Take a stroll. Oh, and a lovely cane you have there. Beautiful. Thank you. Our next group is a lovely couple who are out for an afternoon stroll, Lois Lynch and her strange hermit uncle from the mountains of the Alps. <laughs> She's bringing him out for a stroll. Lois is wearing a 100% cotton skirt suit purchased in Munich. The skirt is a dark green pleated one edged with red on the pockets and the hem. The jacket is the red of the skirt trim and is trimmed with a dark green. Buttons down the front and the back are made of stag horn, and the blouse features an eyelet set in on the three-quarter length sleeve and has two different laces trimming the front of the sleeve. Her gentleman collar is dressed in lovely short pants, marvelous vest and white shirt and hat, and he needs a trim. <laughs> And he has big feet. <laughs> Thank you. Next, we have a family coming into the park today. Corinna and her children, Kristen and Allison. Corinna is wearing a cream-colored dress decorated with large pink and apricot flowers. The back of this dress is cut out for very dramatic effect. Keeps you cooler in the summer, too. The apron is finished with a large daisy lace pattern. Kristen is wearing a light blue traditional dirndl dress with a dainty pink floral print and corresponding aprons and matching pink socks. Allison's dirndl dress was made by her oma, her grandmother. She's wearing a red sweater, which goes nicely with her hat and her socks, too. What a lovely family. Thank you. We have another family coming out today daughter Anna Marie in shades of lovely pink and red. Anna Marie and her mom Pat are pretty flowers in her hair and her grandmother is wearing a pretty pink dirndl with pink and white apron and white lace socks. Thank you. <laughs> Next we have another evening dress worn by Roseanne Mills gown similar to the one of Maria Teresa of Austria. The gown features contrasting pink ruching and apron combined with antique handmade lace from Europe. The front is laced with silver chain and hooks from Germany. With it she 
The gown, by the way, was designed and made by her, by Bruce Cantrell. Bruce is wearing a complete Bavarian outfit, Bay later holds in complete with chains, white shirt and bone buttons, heavy wool socks and black shoes. His Alpen hat has a brush and pins from many of the cities throughout Germany. Thank you. <laughs> Carly is wearing a typical, typical of German children's fashion in blue and pink. And her gym shoes have blue trim, just perfect to match her dirndl. That's right. And Brian, their son, is wearing gray lederhosen with a shirt like his dad and red and white checks. These were all brought by Wanda and Bill to their grandkids. Thank you for coming. The Greenleaf. The Greenleaf next? They're not here. They didn't come. Okay. Next we have Hertha and Kay Wolf. Their cotton damask skirt in the fashion of the Bavarian style. A white blouse with eyelet set in on the three quarter quarter puff sleeves with a black cotton vest. She bought her outfit in Oxford. She also wears a lovely garnet necklace. Winona is wearing a dirndl of green brocade, fabric which she bought in Germany. An April of emerald green taffeta, blouse bought in Augsburg, and earrings which belonged to her mother. Winona's dirndl was made by Elizabeth Namath, who lived here in Dayton. Opal Mueller wears a lovely green skirt and blouse, pleated with a dark forest green background and farm animals on the border. Red waistline and red border on the butt. Her blouse has silver buttons on it. Thank you. Okay. We have another family joining us in the park this afternoon. Come on up, Rosie and Hubert and their daughter, Galen, and their grandchildren, Lindsay and Ian. Oh, how lovely. Look, oh, she walks so good. That's... Okay. Rosie wears a Trachten skirt in floral design from Augsburg and a lovely white blouse with tucks in the front and on the sleeves. Hubert wears a navy blue knee-length pants with a white shirt and a special tie and wool knee socks over his legs. Their daughter wears a black dirndl dress with a floral design, a white blouse, and a light lavender apron. Lindsay wears a red dirndl dress with a white heart design, white blouse, and puff sleeves, and white apron, which was made by her grandma. And Ian wears nice lederhosen with a white shirt, white socks, and a marvelous hat. Thank you all. Okay, our last fashion today is Inga Longbreak. And I really appreciate her help in getting things organized. Not everywhere is the dirndl dress worn. Depended on the region within Germany, different kind of Trachten outfits are worn for special events. Inga is wearing an outfit representing the northern part of Germany. The dress is made of a cotton navy blue material with light blue floral print. It has a wide gathered skirt and is sleeveless. A long sleeve blouse is worn underneath, and around the neck she wears a triangular scarf with a color matching apron. The design for this outfit was picked out of a professional book here in town and designed and made by Bruce Cantrell. She carries a blue Trocton purse made of suede leather and an all wool Trocton sweater in a special knit design. The sleeves of the sweater are puffed up on the upper arm, and the sweater was purchased in Germany. I'd like to invite all of our models. I'd like you to give them a great hand. They've just sweated this out, and they've done a fine, fine job. Ooh. Okay, bring them on in. What a great job. Thank you all. Thank you. Well, we'd like to thank you for coming and enjoying, and we hope you all come back next year. Hey, you do you both go up. I think it was some place to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon and guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren.
Once more, welcome to the uh, picnic of the Dayton Leader Center Society.